Is Globox faster for an any percent speed run? Well, maybe, but first you have to select the character and that wastes time. Without loads, it takes about 11 extra seconds to get Globox. And that is if you don't have any extra pop-ups regarding your Uplay bonuses or challenges save data you might have. So it's always best to have a fresh profile with no save data at all, so you don't get any pop-ups to waste even more time. So yeah, 11 seconds you have to make up for as Globox. Well, it is definitely a fact that Globox does have faster places in certain levels. For example, this first spot is a good example of where he has extra jump height when he jumps off of a chain or rope of any kind. He just has extra jump height and he doesn't have to worry about colliding with certain things, especially with uh, walls that you're supposed to jump over. And here's the main reason to use Globox, his extra range. Globox's back air kick has a lot of range, and not only can it reach extremely far, it can actually reach through walls, which you'll see later. In situations like this, where a cage is just hanging out on a ledge, Globox usually has the advantage there because he can usually kick before he even needs to actually land on the uh, floor, where Raymond actually does have to get on the floor, ground pound, jump again, and then get away from there, which wastes time. This next example uses both Globox's extra range and his extra jump height on ropes, and that allows him to get this cage very quickly, compared to Rayman's um, most reliable strat here. In Quicksand, an auto-scroller, Globox actually has a nice time saver here that saves a couple seconds. Near the end of the first tower falling down, there's a place where you can kick through the wall, and you'll be able to escape the tower a lot more quickly, since you already got the teensy before you got to the top. Here on How to Shoot Your Dragon, there is a place on a level where you can potentially be slower if you don't know how to avoid it. Globox has a weird cliff grab bug when there's rotating platforms, and this is the only case where it happens. But there are ways around it if you use your head. Here in the Amazing Maze, there's a really good example of how Globox being able to punch through walls can save a lot of time. In fact, this is where Globox can save the most time using his punch through walls mechanic. There's also another thing about Globox that is technically worse, but not a huge deal, is his roll attack. It has slightly less range, but it's not enough to make this trick impossible. As you can see, it's definitely still possible, but it's just not as easy. The timing is a bit stricter. He is definitely faster here with his white pop. When he uses his back kick to get up there, his kick reaches the cage before he even has to climb up, so he can just move on with the level. But Rayman still has to climb up and destroy the cage, then move on. And here's a really good example of where Globox's extra range can definitely save him time due to cycles. If you use this strat, Rayman would have to stay on the wall a lot longer and have to fly over, waste a lot of time, when Globox's extra range allows him to get the cage really quickly. And here in Geyser Blast is a uh, similar example to Creepy Castle where there is a cliff and Globox's extra range is able to get the cage before he has to actually get on the cliff. But Rayman has to get on the cliff, which wastes time. <laughs> and as you can see by the timer, it's actually really, really close. And this is undoubtedly not everything Globox can do to make things faster. So honestly, I would say Globox would be definitely faster, but not by much. At this point, it's probably personal preference on which character you'd want to play in a speedrun. But personally, I would pick Globox because not only would he be potentially be faster, especially if you add a few more strats in that I haven't found yet. He's also a lot easier to use because of his extra range, which gives him more forgiveness. And there's undoubtedly a lot of extra things that Globox can do that can save a little bit of time for each little strat that I haven't displayed here. There's a lot of optimizations that you can make with, um, for example, Globox's extra jump height when he jumps from chains and ropes. And situations like that are everywhere in the game, but I haven't had time to really see how much time that saves due to how small they are. But in any case, Globox is definitely a viable choice in the speedrun and you should definitely consider using him, especially since Globox can potentially be faster in the future. So I definitely recommend picking him up. And he definitely makes things easier, which is definitely welcome in an hour and a half speed run. There's not as much stress, he just makes things a lot easier in certain situations. And I totally expect Globox to just straight up be better in the future after we find out more strats. But right now, uh, Rayman and Globox seem to be about on equal footing. But if he can find more strats with Globox, which he should be able to, honestly, at some point in the future, Globox should definitely be faster.